They walk so hard, the, the ceiling fan literally shakes. And I feel like they jump. They jump with all they weight. Why the Yeti jumping? No, he too big for that. Just stomping through the house. I'll be sitting in my chair and I'll be saying to myself, when he come through that ceiling and he land on the floor, I'm taking my spatula that I cook with and I'm gonna beat his tail with it for coming through the roof. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. The moment he land in front of me, I'm gonna tear his butt up. Again. Starting all over again. Hey, it's gonna be tough. Yeah. Oh, nice. But we're gonna make it. Hey. Starting all over again. <laughs> it's gonna be rough. Oh, nice. But we're, we're gonna, gonna make, make it. it. Today, I'm cooking. Hmm, sorry. Ooh, I forgot I had the mask on. But today, I'm cooking. I haven't cooked in a while. I haven't vlogged like usually. I haven't felt motivated to vlog. I just been feeling like, ah, I just want all this to be over with. But I have some fries. I'm frying some onions. These are red fresh onions in here with uh, bell pepper. And I'm using fresh cilantro. Fresh chives and Italian parsley. Nadine picked those up for me in Trader Joe's the other day. And I'm going to be using the Morning Star Grill Grumble. Did I say Grumble? It's Grill Crumble. Grill Crumble. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Spirit always make up her own words. Anyway, I'm frying up everything. I even got some fresh garlic in there. It smells so good. Everything's organic. Don't have to be. But I'm using everything organic today, uh, except for the crumble. Of course, that's not organic. That's frozen veggie meat. And I'm going to pour that in there. And I'm going to fry that. And Nadine right now is soaking the brown rice, preparing it for the steamer. And then I'm going to put the round brown rice inside the pot and fry it all together. And add some more seasoning. I'm browning the ground crumble. And I added a few broccoli spears. And now just waiting on the rice. I'm just kind of like letting this like. I got it on number three. And I'm just kind of letting it kind of like a steam type. But I did use just a one cap full of coconut oil. To fry the onions and the meat in the beginning. So now I'm just kind of letting it cook slow. As you can hear it. Then I'm going to add the brown rice once it's done. I'm going to add all my seasonings as well I have some smoked paprika some onion salt some garlic powder black peppercorn and basil and it, it oh it smells really good already by itself Nadine's making all of us a drink it's gonna be grapes green apples these are sweet very sweet grapes they're delicious and Add a little bit of water and honey and water. That's hot. Nice and hot honey and water. Then she's going to add ice and blend it up. Okay, the rice is done. So we're going to add the rice now. That's enough. Okay. You sure? Mm hmm. Add my basil. Not much come out this jar. Peppercorn. It's new, so it's like hard to turn it. Okay. 
garlic powder. Garlic salt. And just a little bit of turmeric. Smoke for smoke paprika. It's brown and so Oh, when I tell you it smells good. Mm. Oh my god, the flavors. You smell it, Nadine? Mm -hmm. I need some black pepper. Now I'll just let it cook for a little while. Hi, special spirit lights. Hello, hello, hello. I thought I'd turn on the vlog camera a little while. I thought I was going to leave the house today. Um, I need a room because uh, Dream has taken both rooms in a room with him. And... You know, um, uh, not using the room because it's in the room where he, he had been quarantined at, and I haven't been in that room since he's been home. So both rooms are in that room. But speaking of dream, y'all, dream has, um, dream is moving out. Yes, he's moving out in a couple of days. He's going to go pick up his key today. He It's kind of bittersweet for him. He's happy in one sense, and then he's sad in the other sense. He says, Mom, you know, you, you need to come uh, live down near where I'm at. You need to come be near me. And I'm thinking, like, Dream, don't worry about us. We'll come visit you. <laughs> we'll come visit you. <laughs> and I told him, I said, well, once you've lived there, you know, for about... A year you let us know how it is and then if you if it's still really nice and peaceful like you say it is then maybe we'll consider you know moving where dream is he wants us to be where he at uh, I guess he's not like it's like he, you know saying goodbye to his family but not really you know because me and Nadine gonna see him whenever he want to see us you know but we're happy that he's moving out, but then we like, Dad, Dream's moving out. Oh my God, are you serious? Oh man, he's finally moving out, and now and, uh, we'll see him here and there, you know. But other than that, it's cold in my house. It is freezing. When I tell you my eye, my eyes, my toes, my foot feel like um, ice. That very like numb, cold. And I don't know if it's from the storm that took place last um, night and this morning. I was doing my makeup and the lightning came through. It's like boom, boom. The whole place shook. Dream started screaming, "Turn off everything!" Nadine jumped up. Everybody, I thought. I think everybody jumped up because we thought we was going to have to go run or something because the wind was blowing hard. Something hit the window. It was scary. Uh, but it had passed. 
and then it was just thundering a little bit, you know. Um, but now it's so cold in the house. All I want to do is just wrap up in my blanket, and I just want to. I'm actually going to lay here, and I'm going to go to sleep, and then when I wake up, I'm probably going to take a shower and take my makeup off. But okay, speaking of my makeup, I'm wearing the L'Oreal Lumai True Match makeup, and it really does match. Like it's it's it looks so good, even without all of the eyeshadow or anything else. It just looks natural. It's really really pretty. And I'm wearing it trying to see how long it's going to last. I had it on all day. It's around 4 o'clock. And I had my makeup on since around uh, 5 this morning. So it has done really, really good, you know. Um, I done ate and everything. And I had a, a, large glass, a large cup of cherry, liquid cherry. So my eyes are like... Where's the bed? Where's the pillow? I'm about ready to like pass the freak out because you know cherries relaxes you a lot. I'm waiting on a video to go up. I did some uh, positive affirmations. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to call it. Let's see. What am I going to call it? I think I'm going to call it ASMR Positive Affirmation Affirmation Thoughts. So I don't know what I'm going to call it before that. I can't think right now. But um, somewhere on the lines, I'm going to try to put that up. And then I'm going to go ahead and find me something that's kind of like boring. So it can put me to sleep because I'm tired. I hope that you're doing good. <laughs> thank you for all of... Um, thank you guys for all of the nice comments and the well wishes from the last... Um, Vlog. I'm glad y'all like the vlog. <laughs> I'm glad y'all like the vlog. I really am. Um, uh, I told Dream. Uh, I gave him all the happy birthday messages and everything like that. He said thank you. Uh, he still um, wants to later on celebrate his birthday when everything open up, you know. But I feel like even though everything is going to open up. I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. I just I just still feel like we need to ease our way and take our time with things and um, we'll get to celebrate. It'll be okay. And then me and Nadine's birthday gonna be coming up soon. I got um a sister's birthday coming up, I got a grand um daughter birthday coming up and I got matter of fact I got two sisters' birthdays coming up. And then me and Nadine's birthday and I got some nieces, they birthdays coming up. And I'm just like, oh my God, what is everybody going to be doing on their birthday? Like, how is it, what is it going to be like? Uh, me and Nadine thought we was going to um, be in Florida or something for our birthday. We thought we was going to travel and do something nice for our birthday. But it looks like uh, we're going to be in the house. <laughs> We're going to be in the house because if we don't have to leave out, we're just not going to do it. We're not some type of people. We like to scope things out a little bit and see how things are going to be before we make a decision to take our tails out in the world like that. You know, the most that we'll probably do is um, the park or something for a walk. I hope that you're doing good today. I hope that you're having a wonderful, wonderful day afternoon or night whatever it is I just hope that you're getting through it you know doing the best that you can as well as you can in in these circumstances you know um I think Jordan Barron asked me for a shout out so hey Jordan <laughs> Jordan Barron hi Jordan sending all my love to all of my new subscribers and so much love to my OGs Hey y'all, I got a message and someone says, Spirit, right there, 700K. Yay, we almost at 700K. That is true. <laughs> I'm excited about it. 
Um, I wish it was under different circumstances, but I'm still excited about it. I'm still hanging in there. Um, I have run into like a, a little snag, like as far as like dealing with um, things and things coming up and you know me, no matter what happens, I would try my best to to be there for you. Try to make sure that you're nice, calm, and relaxed. And if nothing else, just run my mouth to you, let you know what's, what's going on with spirit. Which right now ain't nothing going on with spirit. Nothing but uh, just trying to stay safe. Just trying to stay safe. That's it, you know. Uh, I'm not, you know, rambunctious about being outside, you know, I want I like being outside in the sun, but I'm not crazy about trying to like just jump out there unless it's necessary. You know, people are going back to work and I ain't hear too much about school. I think that um our schools are still gonna be closed for a little while. But I'm praying for the world. I'm hoping that we get back to the way life was. Life's so precious and and my neighbors, oh my God, have gotten so terrible. They have gotten so terrible, terrible, okay? To the point where it almost feels like they want us to come upstairs uh, and, and say something to them so we all could be fighting. <laughs> That's how bad they got. They got it so bad. Oh my God. <sighs> I know I heard um, the neighbor stump that had a temper tantrum the other day saying that they had got fired from their job. So they were hollering and screaming to the top of their lungs about that. <sighs> Nadine in there making herself some hot tea. She get ready to lay down and, and get some sleep. She haven't been feeling all that great either. But eventually, we got to go out there. We got to find a way to just, you hear that? See how they, they just boom, boom, boom. It's like stump to the, to compact, to the, to the, they stump as hard as they possibly can, okay? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. They terrible. Our neighbors are terrible. They monsters. Zombies. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, like I was saying, Nadine have not been feeling all that great. Uh, I think it's because it's been in the house too much. It's time to go out there and just um, do, you know, get in the sun a little bit. You need that sun to give you that radiant, that energy and put some life back into you, you know? Oh, shoot. I like my eyeshadow today. It's real pretty. I love that black eyeshadow. That spooky eyeshadow inside of the James Charles palette. It's really pretty. Yep, I really like it. But too bad it's getting ready to come off in a little while. I just want to see how long my makeup lasts. It has done really, really good. Oh, wow, look at that. And I think the reason why it's not all coming off, all coming off because of the translucent powder. But for it to be a drugstore makeup, it has done really, really good. My daughter said, ooh, mom, that makeup is pretty. It's definitely a match. I said, yeah. It, wow. I think um, the other makeup, I got one or two makeup that come close. But this right here definitely was it and it was only one one foundation left only one so i'm glad that i got it. it was the darkest one and the only one yep i'm glad i got it i pulled out one of my wigs out of my my little stash in my closet i cleaned her up made her pretty and i put her on but you know i glued her down pretty nice but i think i'm gonna what was that that was what i saw a net or something anyway uh, yeah, I'm, I, you know, we haven't seen nets in a while, but we went grocery shopping recently and we got um, all this organic food. Now the nets are back. They are back. 
they ain't gonna be here for long because we didn't get that much of it shoot we didn't get that much of it <laughs> i think we got enough to last us about a week you know we didn't buckle down on nothing because we're hoping that um things kind of go back to normal you know and then we don't want to spend too much because we just don't know what's going to happen just don't i don't know we're trying to spend as little as possible I got a gluten-free brownie uh, cake mix in there, and I also got this uh, crumb cake that's gluten-free gluten -free crumb cake. I want to make it, but I'm just feeling so lazy. I don't know. Ooh, I hate when I feel real lazy. I don't want to do anything at all. I just want to chill out. I don't even barely want to watch TV, to be honest with you. I just don't want to do anything. I just, I just want everything to be better. That's all I want. I feel like the, the the greatest thing that happened today was that Dream got his keys. He got on our freaking nerve yesterday. Oh, my God. He had to call the light company to get his lights on. He had to call the insurance company to get his renter's insurance. He said, Mom, you know what I realized? That even when you're trying to do things on your own, you still need other people's support. Because without you and Nadine... I don't know how I would have did all of this. I wouldn't even know where to start. I said, yeah, I know. I know, and just think you're going to be able to help somebody else one day. But he got my out freaking nerve. <laughs> he said, Dream, we've been doing this for years. Do you want us to help you or what? Because he's very argumental when it comes to me and Nadine trying to tell him. And he'll ask us for our help, and then he'll yell at us because... He's irritated because really, what he really wants is for us to do it. He want our help, but he want us to do it. You know, us to make phone calls, us to talk to. Him. And we, and we did, we did here and there, but he mainly did the rest. You know, he did good, and I told him it's going to get easier, but it's not going to get lighter. You know, like being on your own, you don't realize how much money you save when you live with mom. <laughs> but I think he's going to do really good out there I'm really proud of him I'm happy for him Plus he's a man He's a man So shoot He'll be alright You know Yeah Me and Nadine thinking about We're going to be living in a house We can't do the apartment no more We just can't I don't want no neighbors Like on the side of me Like, like connected to the door, like to the wall where I could hear them. And I don't want no neighbors on top of me no more because people are so terrible. People, like, they just don't know how to let people be, you know, or, or have respect or concern about people, you know. Mm -mm. We're definitely going to do a house because having rude neighbors is terrible. And it's terrible, terrible when you got rude neighbors. They walk so hard, the, the ceiling fan literally shakes. And I feel like they jump. They jump with all they weight. I don't know why the Yeti jumping. No, he too big for that. He know he too big for that. Just stomping through the house. I sometimes be sitting in my chair and I be saying to myself, when he come through that ceiling and he land on the floor, I'm taking my spatula that I cook with and I'm going to beat his tail with it for coming through the roof. That's exactly what I'm going to do. The moment he land in front of me, I'm going to tear his butt up. Because it don't make no sense and him stumping through the floor like that. Nadine, what you got? You barely got nothing in there. You got oatmeal? <laughs> Nadine over there does stuck and make her some oatmeal. She didn't even say, Mom, you want some oatmeal? Or nothing. <laughs> I don't want no oatmeal anyway. I'm sleepy. I'm tired. Plus, I had me a good old sandwich. I had two uh, egg, uh, cheese, and onion. Um sandwich with some uh, smoked veggie meat like a sandwich daily meat in the middle of it it was good and I had me some potato chips so I'm very satisfied and I took me a probiotic so I'm, <laughs> I'm feeling good I took my iron my probiotic only thing I haven't had is my B complex and my vitamin D yep I gotta take that D though definitely
But you got to drink a lot of water with it. A lot of water. You know, I learned my lesson. I cramped up so bad one night. I was in here crying like a, a little baby. I couldn't even stop crying. I was so cramped up. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, I had a terrible cramp for not drinking enough water. And then I drank so much water one night. I think I went to the bathroom 11 times throughout the night. 11 times letting water out. And then the next day, they, they told so, Mom, your face looks skinny. Do you think... <laughs> <laughs> and then as soon as um, I started drinking water again, my face pumped right back out. Right back. The plumpness is right back there. <laughs> I was drinking through the, through the whole night. <laughs> oh, okay. So I don't talk to y'all a little bit. I will talk to y'all again in the future. Yeah. I'm going to go now and close my eyes. And Spirit Girl will talk to you again soon. Bye. This is what me and Nadine having tonight. We're just having some spinach and onions with a burger by Morning Star. And I just added uh, some onion powder on top of the burger and some black pepper. Now the burger's done, we're just going to toast the bread. These two are Nadine, and these three little ends of mine because we ran out of bread. This is it. So I always get the end pieces, but I don't mind. <laughs> but this one right here is mad. <laughs> it's mad little, but it's okay. I'm still going to seal my burger up. I added some barbecue sauce. Mmm, that looks delicious. This is good, Nadine? Mm -hmm. Good morning, good morning. This morning I put some rolls in the oven. I'm using this culture vegan butter. I put uh, vegan butter a little bit on each one. And then I added black pepper, oregano, garlic powder, and a little garlic salt. Mmm, they're gonna taste real good. And then I got some potato steaming inside of the steamer. And I'm gonna put some cut up chicken patties and spinach onions in the stir fry. It looked like a lot of spinach, but it's gonna cook down. And I'm stir frying it with the chicken, the veggie chicken patty by Money Star. And it don't matter if it's veggie or not veggie, but I prefer veggie because that's what I'm using. I'm going to let that cook down a little bit. Good morning, special spiritualites. Good morning, good morning. Uh, I know I look like I'm in combat, but I'm not. I just took a shirt and I tied it around my mouth, then tied it around the back, and then put it around my head so I could stay up there because I didn't want to keep slipping because Dream is going back and forth to work. Today is May 1st. He is moving out. And once he moved out, and it's just me and Nadine completely in the house because we're not leaving in and out. Um, doing things. Uh, Nadine, she leaves out and do what she has to do. And she mostly work, you know, online. She's working online now. We'll be able to, like, move around the house a little bit more freely. But for right now, I'm just going to cover up. Especially because yesterday, um, I had, like, a small scare. Um, I coughed for two days and I couldn't stop coughing. And I felt like I was choking. But then I did remember that I didn't take my iron. So, once um, Nadine got iron and she got the B complex and she got some liquid cherry and she made some turmeric tea, 
I was able to rest well and I woke up with no cough and feeling good, have energy enough to cook. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm making mashed potatoes. I told Nadine I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes <laughs> for scratch. And she said, okay, bye. Yes, I am. I sure am. <laughs> I put my mashed potatoes in the steam. I got in there with some onions, some garlic, uh, some parsley and some chives and some pepper. And I was waiting for it to steam down. I'm gonna smash it all together and I got me some evaporated milk. And um, yeah, we're gonna have rolls, uh, a veggie chicken this morning with onions and spinach. And it smells delicious already. Like, I'm ready to eat. <laughs> I'm gonna try to take it easy today because I think um, I did maybe did too much yesterday and that might contribute to my cough, you know. So I'm just gonna take it easy today. I hope y'all doing good. Doing the best you can in these times. And I am, um, don't worry about spirit. I'm gonna come do my best to continue staying safe unless, you know, I'm gonna be out there Unless I really, really have to be out there, I will be out there. But if I don't have to be out there, I'm just going to wait a little bit longer and try to stay safe as long as possible. So my potatoes is done. I gotta put them in this pot. Um, this, you know, I'm just gonna put it in a pot because I'm, I'm gonna have to like cook it for a little while when I'm mixing the milk and the butter. Dream is moving out today, so he's on his way to go get his U-Haul truck so he can start moving his things in his place. So yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do work or nothing today until it's quiet again. And that could be a while. I think I'll give them another five minutes. It's not that soft. Let me give it another five minutes. Okay, I'm bored just for another five minutes. So definitely be ready to be smashed. The potatoes taste so good and I could leave it just like this and just eat potato soup. Like seriously, it looks so good and it tastes good. But it's gonna taste even better, you know, mashed potatoes because we haven't had mashed potatoes in a while. It's gonna be a treat for Nadine. I added a, a little bit of milk and some butter with the potato soup and now I'm gonna make my mashed potatoes and then put it on the stove and let it all simmer together. When I tell you, this is going to be so good. They didn't talk about, Ma, you can make mashed potatoes. Girl, stop playing with me. <laughs> Y'all know Spirit could cook over here. I need to give me a mashed potato smasher like I had when the kids were younger. But sometimes I used it and sometimes I didn't. Yeah, I'm about to fix me and Nadine's plate. This is my finished mashed potatoes. Nadine took a little taste of it with a roll. And she said, mmm, this is good. Yeah, so 
Yeah. Easy. Oh my God. Yeah, it's time to eat, y'all. Talk to you later.